Good morning. This is a project I started working on the day before I filmed this. It's not completed. Um, it is a capacitor tester. And what it is, is it's going to be, is a low voltage version of one of these. This is an old style uh, capacitor tester capable of ca testing capacitors rated up to 500 volts and 5000 microfarads. Um, tell you if they're leaky or not. And this one uh, has an infinitely variable voltage setting, but it's very difficult to set the voltage precisely below 50 volts, and I've wanted to be able to test capacitors below 50 volts with something that is a little easier to, to work with and a little more precise, uh, precise in the voltage uh, setting abilities. It's, like I said, it's not completed. Um, it's roughly based on this hand-drawn schematic, which I'll run through real quick. You'd have plus and minus voltage coming in from a variable low voltage DC power supply. The plus side goes through an amp meter and then through a momentary switch which is normally closed on a 10 meg ohm 10 watt resistor and then that goes into the capacitor under test and then the negative goes directly to the capacitor under test. Uh, this right here turns this 50 micro amp uh, amp meter into approximately a 500 milliamp meter mostly uh, so that it keeps the uh, meter from pegging when uh, if you hook up a voltage turn it on and it quickly fills the capacitor because it's not going to really do that through any kind of uh, um, capacitor I'm sorry, resistor. Uh, it's just going to directly charge the capacitor. So what you would do is you would keep this in the down position. There's another switch over here which I, I had to order because I don't have one which is going to be similar to this. It's a momentary. Um, it's going to have the same number of poles but it's momentary meaning it, it's either up here or it's down here and it either connects this one or this one I don't have any switches that do that so um, so what would happen is this switch would be in discharge mode this switch would be in the 500 milliamp position you put your capacitor in it you set your voltage on your regulated power supply turn it on and then press this to um, leakage test and observe the reading on this amp meter um, and then you can switch it to the 50 microamp setting and uh, observe any um, what the actual leakage is. I had to do some research to find out how to figure out what the leakage should be for capacitors and the information on that is kind of difficult to find 
Um, it's roughly based on a, a formula that is something like, and I, I, every time I, when I look this up I got different amounts, but basically 0 0.03 times the capacitance times the number of microfarads uh, plus 20, I believe. Just a second. Yeah, so it's 0 0.03 times the capacitance times the volts, and for some reason plus 20 gives you the leakage in microamps, and This is a, like a maximum setting, so what they usually say if you read in the data sheet for a capacitor, it'll read something like 0 0.01 microamps or th 3 microamps. No. It will read um, three microamps or the calculated microamps, whichever is highest. Uh, so it, it, it can be a little confusing. Um, I'm going to, uh, I still have to wait for the parts, but basically this is what it looks like inside we have the power coming in here it's going to go through the amp meter eventually it'll have the switch over here and this is the resistor that it will discharge the capacitors into um, so hopefully when I when we come back from the fade, we will have this work. Alrighty, uh, this is a conclusion to the rest of the video that I started. Um, one of the things I wanted to show was how I designed the layout for this. I started by drawing what I wanted in CAD based off the measurements of the components laid it out printed it to scale and then just punched directly onto the plastic and then drilled the appropriate holes um, most everything went in with no problem some things like this I had to carve out by hand very carefully with a razor knife and uh, let's uh, show how it works. I don't need to show my power supply because it just needs to, you just need to know what voltage I'm using. So basically what I've done is I've set the, the power supply for the highest voltage it can do. In this case, it's uh, about 39 volts, 40 volts, and this is a 50 volt capacitor. So let's zoom in a little bit. And put this in, observing polarity, 
Oh, and these are for test leads. Uh, if you want to put in a banana clip with test leads to test a capacitor that you can't plug in here, uh, you can do that. And also, this wouldn't, you can't do this with uh, an in circuit capacitor. Everything must be taken out. And uh, this is the finished, uh, how it looks inside. So, to do this, like I said, we've got our voltage on. I've got this set to 500 milliamps. And then just set it to test, and you'll see the needle jump. And then you move it to 50 microamps, and it shows you uh, the, if there's any leakage. Now, Technically, according to the specs I was reading on different capacitors, uh, you have to wait two minutes to get the actual reading. But I think with some capacitors that are questionable, uh, you can find out pretty quick. I'm not sure the what's going on here, why it's jumping a little bit. I don't know if that's because it, this is about how much leakage there is, which this is showing about four, maybe five, it's hard to tell with this scale. Microamps. There's a formula for figuring this out and um, it's a bit complicated. I'll probably put it on the screen, but you know, good luck with that. Because I, when I googled online how to use the formula, I didn't get much useful information. So this looks like this is a actually a reasonably good capacitor. So we will discharge. We just let go, and it immediately discharge. It shunts this across a 10 ohm resistor. So we'll take this one. It's 100 microfarad, 25 volt. So I'm going to turn my voltage down to 20, yeah, 24 volts. Put it in. Switch to 500 microfarads and hit test. And we'll do this is a 0.1 microfarad. 50 volt. And you can see that with the 0.1 microfarad, it doesn't do much, so we can put it to 50 microamps. <clears throat> and you can see that this doesn't seem to have any leakage at all. So, I mean, that's it. I mean, it works. Thanks very much for watching. Later.